he's much as we were on the show, he's not intimidated at all. And I'm always like <laughs> trying to, I'm taller, I'm taller, I'm taller. We're here at Paley Fest where you get to come face to face with your fans. What's it been like being a part of this show and seeing the fan community out there and coming? The fan community for this show has been tremendous. Like, I really, really check for them and value them. I like, I look forward to live tweets with them because they are so clever, so smart, so engaged. I'm um, in the show. They teach me things. Like, it's amazing. So I'm glad that we can gather here at Paley Fest and actually look each other in the eye for just a moment, you know, and just talk. You have been here multiple times with different shows, different casts. We love seeing the chemistry that you all have on stage. With the 911 cast, what was that moment you knew you all clicked? You know, I think, uh, you know, it, there was a, a, a scene where we actually were all together. You know, sometimes, you know, I'm doing my thing as, a, as police and their firemen, they're doing their thing. But sometimes we get a chance to come together and when we do, and we cannot like actually said action and we're laughing and joking and that sort like, of thing. Get it thing. together, get yeah. it together. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. no, this is yeah. the best stuff, it's right? like, oh, this is the best. We are a family off screen and it was, you know, it's a rare thing. I shouldn't say it's a rare thing, but it's not something that's guaranteed that, you know, you're going to sort of um, gel with uh, with your television um, co-stars. You know, there's a mutual respect and understanding um, across the board, I think, as artists, but to be able to actually find a family unit is, is kind of unique and special and this show in particular kind of needed it and required it for us to function because I think that's what the world is like in that community for first responders. It, well, I know, you know, for firefighters, they're very close-knit, you know, and so um, when I first met these guys, you know, I was the only female, and so it was just that kind of thing of like, are we going to talk about sports all day or how are we going to, what are we doing? And so, but they were so, you know, welcoming and warm, and we all clicked on day one and have not stopped falling in love with each other since. Well, you see it on screen too, and I love that. Yeah, I love You do too. have a lot of funny moments together. That's like we're breaks starting up. We're to think they're bu they're bugging our hangouts because like, <laughs> we're starting to working it into the show. Yeah, I'm like, wait, I just talked to Oliver about that. How is it in the episode now? <laughs> do you get a lot of reactions to people that realize you have an accent because you don't on the show, obviously? Um, thankfully, yes. Okay. If I didn't, I would be worried. But yeah, in general, people don't seem to know, which I take as a good sign. And the fact that you do such a good American accent. Right? Uh, thank you. Right? Thank you. You guys have just kind of like cornered the market. I've done a bunch of carpets and I'm like, wait, are you sure you are? Minute. Yeah, I'm, this is the one I'm putting on. Okay. This is, yeah, I'm trying to make you're myself. You're faking us out. I'm trying to make like, myself sound interesting. Yeah, like, I know they like the British people. I'm going <laughs> to yeah, do that. Exactly. Um, that. So Buck, I love the evolution of Buck from season one to season two. Where is he going now that he's kind of like gotten over Abby? He's gaining his yeah. independence. He's like, okay, I'm going to start this new journey. It's, it's kind of a continuation of that growth. Um, the most immediate thing is that Maddie, his sister, is going to be thrown into some peril, yeah. and so he gets to kind of step up as protective little big brother. Um, so that's that's the kind of next checkpoint on his on his growth. But um, it's going to be a fun fun end of the season. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. Um, I love your character on the show, and obviously with your son on the show. Has that prepared you to be a dad in real life? It has. Yeah, I remember the very first scene I had was walking Gavin, um, who plays Christopher, to school. And the whole time I was doing it, I was just imagining, oh my God, I'm going to have to actually do this in a couple years. So I, like, I started crying a little bit. And it wasn't even time to film. So like, right, save it, save it. Like, you know, on. yeah, wait till we roll. You're like, trust me, I got a lot stored up already. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, but no, it's been incredible. Uh, I also love Gavin to death. He's one of the most inspiring kids I've ever been able to work with, uh, being with actual cerebral palsy. And the determination, the way he sees life, to be honest, is just incredible. There's nothing that keeps him down. He's, there's always some, some ray of sunshine he can, he can look forward to, which I pull from. I love the dynamic of, of Michael, Athena, Bobby, just that whole storyline with the families and it's all the things crazy, you've kind of yeah. gone through. Yeah. It's kind of nice to see something like that portrayed on TV. I think usually most of it comes with negative things going on or whatever. Right. What's it been like to portray this kind of relationship and the things that you've gone through with the show? Angela and Peter are so amazing. So to, you know, kind of separate the characters and also the feeling is it's, it's really really hard. Um, I, I, it's like Three's Company to me. I I, I actually really like it. I, I like the um, the dynamic between uh, our characters, um, and I love our dynamic. And you know, in real life, it's just it's, it's amazing working with Angela. Has been one of uh, my greatest pleasures. <laughs> and uh, working with uh, with Peter has is, is just been amazing. He's just so giving and awesome and kind. So um, you know, this has been a great experience for me. 
I love Athena's journey on the show and the dynamic with Michael, with Bobby. What can you tease that you're excited for us to see the second half of the season? I think, um, you know, Athena and Bobby, you know, their love is still growing. They're still sort of marching forward toward toward the altar. But there's some there's some obstacles along the way. You know, Athena's parents show up and they think this happened, this love affair, <laughs> you know, happened awfully quickly, you know, in their opinion. So we'll, we'll see. That's one potential obstacle. And also we know that Bobby, you know, he has a very rich path, shall I say, and we'll see how that how that impacts their 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 time. I want you to be able to get in on some of this crazy action they have going on. Any chance you just like happen to be in the same place as some of the stuff going on? And, Wouldn't that would be great? That? Wouldn't that be great? I think everyone wants to see that. I think it might happen. Okay. Your character's gone through a lot of ups and downs on the show, a lot of heavy stuff. What can you tease coming up? Is it going to still be kind of like a lot of family drama with the ex and everything going on? Not so not? much. I think Hen has stabled out with the family. The family, you know, for now is doing pretty well. She's showing up for that relationship in a, in a, in a healthy and, 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 and honoring, you know, what she has committed to with Karen and, um, and Denny, and I'm proud of her for doing so. Um, but it's also beautiful to sort of explore the complexities of love and how you know it takes you to different places um, but yeah she has stabled out and I think you'll see you know more of Hen's sort of what, how, her value as a paramedic firefighter and amongst her peers and I love that they kind of threw us for a twist they thought we thought kind of coming in that Ryan's character would be your rival and all this and then it was for like a day and now you're like bros are we gonna get more of that kind of relationship totally um i love that aspect of the show that the, the obvious route to go down was yeah we were going to spend the whole season butting heads but actually i think it's great to show like a positive male friendship on tv where look these guys really care about each other and, and actually bring a lot of good out of each other um I, I, yeah there's definitely more ahead i have to admit that calendar episode was one of my favorites just watching you guys trying to one-up each other in your weird way yeah, yeah I'm, I'm still living in that mode personally he's he's fine he doesn't he's as much as we were on the show he's not intimidated at all and i'm always like trying to i'm taller i'm taller i'm taller no and with eddie in the second half of the season what can you tease that's coming up what are you excited for I am excited for all the crazy things you guys are going to see me do. Uh, there's quite a few things that they've written towards my character being an army vet, um, you know, and his thrill-seeking uh, likeness. So it's it's really cool to you know dive deeper in that. And there's there's something that we're currently working on uh, that is going to be a huge shock, massive shock for my character. Okay. Yeah. So then a shark on a highway. And all that. <laughs> A little bit more, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me, there's uh, an emergency call we go on that I think rivals the plane crash in kind of okay. size. Um, really like a spectacular piece that a lot of work went into. So I'm really excited to see that with fire explosions, a lot of smoke and, and a real like action set piece. I, th I think people are really going to enjoy it. And obviously with a show like this, you take on some crazy things that happen. Was there anything when you read that script, you're like, we're really doing this? Every script, every script. <laughs> Every script, I'm like, guys, guys, there's a shark on the highway? Okay, all right, okay. Like, well, this happened. There's a whole shark on the highway, yes. You know, so I learn these things, and it's it's crazy, but, you know, it, it makes me even salute our first responders even that much more, you know, that this is the world that they encounter willingly each and every day, you know, and that they're doing these things and, and making a meaningful impact, you know, to rescue animals and such. But, yeah, there's always wild stuff that I'm like, that's, and then it's a blast to shoot it.